Hey there YouTube friends, Clayton Phillips here, sales manager at Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We're just 15 minutes south of Edmonton here in the capital region in Alberta and I am excited to be able to shoot the first arrival of the 3250 BH Imagine to our dealership here in Leduc. This is a brand new floor plan. It is bunk model through and through, very large layout and uh, Grand Design putting their, their spin on the, uh, the bunk model with the walk around island and the opposing slides. Before we jump into this trailer, folk, I, folks, I have some exciting news. Grand Design for 2019 from Trailer Life Publication has just won the Reader's Choice Award. So people that have owned uh, trailers, buy trailers, Grand Designs, you folks that are watching these videos who have voted Grand Design for travel trailers, toy haulers and fifth wheels the gold award the top award for all segments that that, that they build and uh, that's a that's a great honor and that's just a true testament to what grand design is doing with their products and uh, their their business and and we are excited to represent uh, all grand design products here at our dealership at woody's rv world we are an exclusive grand design dealer so everything towable that's new you will only find grand design on our lot here in uh, in leduc and we are excited excited to get you down to the store so 3250 BH, this particular travel trailer measures out at 36 feet, 11 inches in length. It is the largest uh, bunk model travel trailer that they build. It replaces the 3170 BH. The 3170 BH they have moved away from and replaced it with the 3250 BH, adding an additional slide and some really cool features on the inside, uh, which we'll jump into. But again, these videos, we go deep on them. Uh, we teach you about the product. If you're looking at it and spending some significant dollars in an RV, uh, these videos go deep so you know exactly what you're getting into. So again, folks, with the Imagine, Grand Design, um, you got the two thirds cap up front. That is a fiberglass cap, fully automotive painted. It's not a gel coat cap like you find with some of the other products in the industry that will over time discolor and fade. That's an automotive painted front cap. They do do the integrated uh, LED lighting, strip lighting, which at night you flip those, those puppies on there and it really gives a really nice accentuated look on the front of your trailer, which is cool. But they also do structure caps and I'm just gonna shoot in on this. It's not just a rounded front cap, they actually, uh, engineer in these grooves and edges and Grand Design does structure caps on all of their products okay and what you want with a front cap is you want a, a cap that will get installed on the trailer squarely very very important a lot of times when the caps go on they don't go on squarely and over time as your trailers flexing and stressing getting towed down the road that's where sealants can give way uh, depending on where your slide outs are at if your trailers not built square you can run into slide issues all of those things and the way that Grand Design engineers their products um, with the laminated walls all of those sorts of things you can be rest assured that their trailers are built square okay uh, pass-through storage compartments grand design is known for their pass-through storage compartments when they developed the imagine uh, Micah Staley the general manager at the uh, grand design plant there wizard with product man this guy is amazing uh, wanted to come out with fifth wheel like storage okay travel trailer pass-through storage compartments up front famous for not being that big okay and with grand design they're really pushing the envelope and one of the things they've done with their pass-through storage is gone to a drop frame storage compartment similar to what you get with the Lippert Z rated chassis in the fifth wheels uh, the difference is is that the a-frame of the trailer is where the, uh, the the base of the storage compartment starts most products in the industry folks the storage compartment see this this molding here this represents where your main floor is of the trailer and if you just follow my hand across okay that's typically that floor it's a lot um, a lot cheaper to build a trailer when your floor continues all the way to the front but you can imagine you're getting half the amount of storage uh, for your for your pass-through storage by doing that drop frame storage you get 47 cubic feet of pass-through storage the other things you get with grand design folks dual motion sensor lighting on either side of your compartment it's not just one light or no lights it's all aluminum tubing up in the top count the amount of aluminum tubes grand design compared to the other products out there it's fully bead welded construction okay it's not screwed together very very rigid very strong very lightweight trying to keep the hitch weight a little bit lighter also with the imagine folks 
first trailer to the market with the enclosed utility center at this price point which is absolutely fantastic you can run your fresh water line up through this porthole access here this little hole this little slot is the perfect size for a fresh water line um, to hook up to your city water connection you've got your outside shower connection hot and cold this little diverter valve here if you have your city water hooked up um, and your fresh water tank is empty and you're about to head out dry camping you can just flip this lever from the city water up to fresh water and it will automatically fill up fill up your fresh water tank which is real slick fresh water capacity on this trailer folks 52 gallons which is absolutely fantastic you have the battery disconnect switch 110 plugs coax cable connection if you want to bring the portable satellite dish with you the other thing grand design coming alongside you they give you directions all color printed stuck on there to winterize your trailer helping you uh, you know operate your trailer a whole lot easier the other thing is if you don't want to hook up your fresh water line to here to fill up your fresh water tank they do give you the gravity fill as well which is really nice so uh, for 2020 they updated the baggage doors. It's a thicker bo door, a um, little bit better insulated. It's a slam latch door, metal latch, super strong. Um, the doors before were just a little twist locks and a thinner door. Again, Grand Design pushing the envelope, coming up with a better door, which is great. Um, the other thing we're going to shoot in here on the weight badge. On this particular trailer, your unloaded vehicle weight is 8,622 pounds. It's a big boy. Um, your GVWR, where is it? 10,195 pounds, giving you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,533 pounds. Average family of four is taking anywhere from 800 to 1,000 pounds with the gear with them. So, you know, typically with this type of cargo carrying capacity, you definitely have more than enough. Um, I mentioned the 52 gallon fresh water capacity on this particular trailer. Your gray capacity is 90 gallons. It's absolutely gigantic. Now that's two tanks, one for your kitchen, one for your bathroom. And then your black tank, they've upgraded the Imagines, the full blown Imagines, uh, 45 gallons on your black tank as well, which is really, really slick. I'm gonna show you the underbelly of the trailer here, okay? Fully enclosed, heated underbelly, fully insulated. See that white uh, pipe there with that gate valve on it? That's the drain for your fresh water tank. So when you go and pull that lever or that handle, your fresh water tank's gonna drain in a hurry. For those of you that have owned RVs before, sometimes very common, uh, they run a half inch water line or a drain cock on the end of the, the bottom side of the fresh tank and it literally dribbles out, takes forever for it to drain. Uh, on this, your, your fresh water tank's gonna drain a whole lot quicker. Sometimes they just put a cap in the bottom side of the fresh water line or the, the drain and it's super difficult to get off. R30 through your floor, okay? So that enclosure is called Coroplast. Bonded to the back side of that Coroplast is the astrofoil insulation. It's not just laying loose in your underbelly. So servicing the underbelly of your trailer, if they got to get up inside and do a water repair or something with the underbelly of your trailer, which can happen, doesn't matter what type of RV you have, um, it's, it's just a whole lot nicer to be able to, uh, to access the, uh, the underbelly of the trailer, making servicing that much nicer. The other thing where they have, you know, the cables coming out where you're to drain your tanks, um, the, the, the gate or the, the hose or the tube for your, for your sewer pipe, you know, they spray foam insulate all the, around those openings, uh, you know, doing all the right things to keep the heat in, the critters out, all those sorts of things. And then your, your tanks are heated off of your, uh, your 35,000 BTU furnace and it's forced air heat. It's not radiant heat that you typically see with the, uh, the, uh, the products with heat registers in your floor. Uh, they've added the, uh, the, the light here for at night. If you got to drain your tanks at night, just help illuminating the, uh, this side of your trailer. Again, underneath the slide outs, again, Grand Design shines with their slide boxes, folks. They're doing all the right things. Uh, one inch thick floor on the base of your slide outs. Your slide end walls are fully laminated. There's no Darko woven fabric that you know will, will wear open over time when your slide outs are going in and out that a lot of the other manufacturers are still using they put a cap edge here on the corner because there's going to be friction here it's not wearing on your on your floor your slide outs all those sorts of things these are rack and pinion slide systems as well tried true proven they're moving a heavy slide out the beautiful thing about the slide mechanisms on this particular side of the trailer is is that you can literally just put a crank handle on a drive nut that's on the opposite side and just manually crank in the slide outs it's super super easy um, 
the slide boxes, folks, every vertical wall panel in a Grand Design trailer, including the roof of your slide outs, are fully laminated, block foam insulation, um, aluminum tubing, bead welded together, very, very rigid, very strong. They're not hanging the walls here. You're not going to find cable slides that are going to stretch out that you got to get tightened up every couple of years. And if you don't, you know, they're, they're preventing having those moisture, you know, that moisture and dust coming in that the cable slides can do over time. You know, everywhere you see an exterior fastener going into the sidewall, that aluminum tube is stuffed with a wood dowel to support that steel screw. If you don't do that, folks, what will happen is that steel screw will wear that aluminum tube, you know, open bigger and that moisture uh, will, will over time creep in and potentially cause delamination. Grand Design also framing in around all their window openings. Uh, they're, they're building it solid, folks. If you were to compare a floor plan of Grand Design and the same floor plan with another manufacturer, uh, you're going to find the Grand Design products going to be heavier. And there's a reason for that, and that's just because they're very well made. The other thing, those slide roofs, fully laminated again, just like the sidewalls, like I mentioned, you can walk on their slide outs. You notice the ladder on the back? When you're looking at the competitive product in the industry, folks, if you don't see a ladder on the back of a trailer, that is a very good indicator that you don't have a true walk-on roof, okay? Grand Design wants you to be able to access the roof, to be able to do roof sealant touch-ups, change a roof vent, uh, sweep off the top of your slide out if you're camping in a wooded area and you get the tree branches and little little branches and, and leaves and stuff falling on top your slide out you want to be able to sweep that off before you bring your slide out in those sorts of things which is uh, really nice now from the top down you've got an R40 through your roof and down your front cap in the imagine it's an inch and a half thick sidewall very common for this type of trailer uh, which gives you an R7 and then again like I mentioned you get that R30 going through your uh, through your, your, your entire floor, which is nice. Uh, outdoor kitchen on this particular model, you do get the big baggage door that seals it up, but also acts as a canopy. So if it's raining, you know, it's, you're gonna be able to use this area a whole lot nicer. You do get the um, spray port here as well, that you can connect that blue hose with the sprayer knob on it or handle, um, you know, utilizing fresh water on your campsite or your trailer, which is nice. The, I mentioned 35,000 BTU furnace, same size furnace you get in a great big solitude, which is nice. Uh, your hot water heater is the Atwood brand, which gives you, it's a six gallon tank, but gives you 17.8 gallons recovery per hour. So with a family, you can sleep an army of people in here. Because of that recovery, the size of your fresh tank, the size of your gray tanks, all of those things, you know, one person can go and have a shower. Shortly thereafter, somebody else can go in and have a shower. You're not having to wait 20, 30 minutes uh, between showers to get that water to heat up again. So they're investing in a, in a better, better component there, which is nice in your outdoor kitchen here. Lots of prep area, which I really like. You do get the light there to help illuminate at night. And then you've got your uh, cook range here as well, which is good. Underneath the, uh, the trailer, you do get the gas quick connect as well for that range to clip into. But you'll see this has the new uh, Pebble interior, super modern, real contemporary, new updated uh, design. Grand Design went from a dark black cabinet before with their, they ran that since their inception up until 2020. Uh, they launched it in about June, the Pebble interior. And so they've really come to the marketplace. I think they've absolutely nailed it with a super modern design, which you know, a lot of young families like, uh, and just really people are gravitating more to the brighter interiors, uh, which is nice. You won't find a, a cabinet and interior styling anywhere else in the industry like this, other than an Imagine, which is which is good. Uh, what's nice about the bigger uh, this big door here is you do get the bigger exterior fridge as well to hold all your goodies. That is a 110 fridge, so if you are you know dry camping, uh, you'll have to run a generator or an inverter to be able to operate that fridge but mainly you know a big trailer like this a lot of people are parking them at campgrounds that sort of thing so now uh, there's your furnace there uh, running gear on the Grand Design product, folks, is the Dexter towing system. So you do get Dexter axles. It's all North American made. Five-year warranty, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. So you can actually do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway, saving yourself hundreds of dollars uh, if you, you know, the handy person and want to do it yourself. We as a dealership, we can do wheel bearing repacks. We're happy to do them. It's part of one of the services that we provide. So if it's not within your wheelhouse, we're more than happy to do that. Uh, bottom line, 
very good warranties with the product. They're using that 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 uh, great towing system as well as the the Westlake Lions Head tire, which gives you that five year warranty and 12 months no questions asked replacement. Okay. Um, 21 foot power awning it's fully adjustable you just reach up and pull the arm down and you can put a tilt to that roller tube that's the largest awning that you'll find power uh, that I'm, I'm aware of in the industry um, at the moment um, again fully adjustable the thing I like about it is that awning covers both your entrance doors so if it is raining in a little bit and the ground is a little bit wet you know you're gonna be able to keep your uh, your campsite or your trailer a little bit more dry uh, which is nice so wider doors, taller doors, you do get the lend a hand grab handles on both your entrances, which is nice. This step folds right up inside the trailer. This one still folds underneath, but it's still a triple entry step, making, you know, getting in and out of the trailer real nice. Middle bathroom in this, so I'm gonna show you, it's real, real slick. Again, that, uh, that great big monstrous fifth wheel like pass through storage compartment on the Imagine, so. Beautiful, beautiful trailer. New redesign, the 3250BH. Couple things, Grand Design's thinking. Outside speakers, they sit on the outside of the wall. They're not countersunk into the wall. The difference, if it's countersunk into the wall, you got a great big hole with the speaker in the wall, making it noisier inside the trailer when it's louder and more susceptible to moisture intrusion. Grand Design, that speaker sits on the outside. Small hole for a wire. Much, 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 much smarter. And when that speaker's running, um, it's not as noisy inside the trailer. You've got full insulation and uh, sidewall behind that speaker, which is real slick. You do get the integrated LED light at the base of the fabric, which helps light up the, uh, the entry side of your trailer. If you want to turn that light on, and then there's little blue lights that are round inside those speakers that are activated as well when you turn that, that awning light on. So I'm going to jump up on the roof and uh, show you what's up on top. Just a sec. Hey folks, Clayton here from Woody's RV in Leduc. I'm on the roof of this 3250BH Imagine. I'm gonna to touch on a bunch of stuff. Grand Design uses the same style roof on all of their products. It's the best roof that you can possibly get, so why not put it on all of the trailers, which is real nice. This is a snow load roof, okay? So you've got 16 inch on center, wood trusses, uh, truss very similar to what you have in your house, just not as steep of a pitch. There is a very good radius to this roof, okay? So when the snow is sitting on it, it's melting in the springtime, that water's gonna run off the roof. If you're in a downpour scenario, that, mo that water's gonna run off your roof. When you're looking at products, there's a lot of them out there that use laminated roofs. Uh, a lot more of a flat roof on those types of products, more susceptible to moisture sitting up on top of your roof, and you wanna get that moisture off, which is nice. Again, I'm on the roof. Very important, I'm full walk on roofs on every single product that Grand Design builds, okay? Again, like I mentioned, they want you to be able to do roof, roof sealant touch-ups, they want you to be able to change out a roof vent, sweep off the top of your slide outs, all of those things. A lot of products do not have walk on roofs, okay? Notice the amount of vents that are in this trailer. You've got one, two, three, four. One in your bathroom, one in your bedroom, one in your living area, and one in your bunk room. You can ventilate this trailer very, very nicely. Now you can add those Camco covers up on the tops of the roof uh, to be able to, you know, seal in uh, the uh, the vent. Leave that vent open, and if it's raining, you know, water's not going to come in. You can do those little additions, which is nice. You got the skylight here above your shower. One of the things that Grand Design, because they use the same roof system on all of their products, they put an attic vent in all of their trailers. Okay, and that's what that is right there. That attic vent helps your trailer breathe. Okay, two things. In super hot weather, you want the heat to escape. Your roof in your house is built very similar. They don't do laminated roofs on houses and those sorts of things. So this is a very similar roof construction to your house. Okay, that attic vent will allow the heat to escape like I mentioned, but also if you're into cold weather camping, um, propane heat has moisture in it and heat rises, that moisture rises. That attic vent will allow the moisture to escape. Uh, in your trailer just really help prolonging the life of your product okay laminated roofs don't have that ability much more susceptible to uh, to delamination and all of those things Coleman mock air conditioner on this product as well um, I believe this one's got the 50 amp service on it which gives you that 15,000 BTU air conditioner the Coleman mock brand of air conditioner is by far the most efficient on the market and they're using that Coleman mock in all of their products uh, which is really really good the other thing I'm gonna show you, stand on slide boxes. This slide box, folks, is laminated 
just like your sidewall, like I mentioned before. So if you need to get up here and do uh, do a, do a touch up, again, sweep off the tops of your slide outs. I think it's just a testament to the quality and structure that Grand Design is putting into their products. Very, very important. I'm going to jump across here and uh, show you that as well. So. Alpha Superflex TPO roof membrane, 12-year uh, warranty. It's more abrasion resistant than some of the other cheaper brands in the in the industry, folks. And uh, it, it rolls over. If you notice, Grand Design runs their roof membrane over top of the sidewall into the roof gutter. The roof gutter sits a little lower than the roof to allow that moisture to come off. There's a lot of products where this roof gutter sits up a lot higher and it almost creates a bit of a dam to prevent some of that moisture from coming off the roof. So again, they're thinking how they're building their products, which is nice. And again, great big uh, 21 foot power awning. So lots of room to put solar panels up on the roof here, folks. So if you wanna go uh, more off the grid style camping, you can definitely do that with this type of trailer. So we're gonna head inside, just sec. All right, friends, we're gonna head in this 3250 BH Imagine. All new floor plan for Grand Design. Super excited about this layout. I've been asking for a walk around island large bunk model trailer for a while now and uh, Grand Design has delivered. We share this information with Grand Design because that's what people like you um, have been asking for, have been requesting. So, but uh, just kind of doing a bit of a shot here through the, uh, through the living area. I optioned in the, um, the theater seating in this particular model. You can get a tri-fold sofa. This has the new pebble interior, which is a lighter fabric. Uh, the dinette is a, is a booth dinette. You can option in the freestanding dinette if you so choose. The nice thing with the booth dinette is you do get storage underneath of it. You get the high-low table, so that table goes up and down. You can take it outside if you want, which is real nice. The thing that I like, they're thinking, this is a lighter fabric material here, super durable, reversible cushions. So if you've got little ones, the cheesy fingers are ripping around the trailer, you can hide that lighter material right out of the way, which is nice. Uh, new update for the 2020 MCD roller shades. Real slick, that's a true blackout shade. Those woven fabric lines, um, they tend to still let a lot of light in. Uh, uh, through the windows and that sort of thing. So again, Grand Design in this model, you've got the windows all the way around the slide out. They put in very large windows. You'll find pretty much every single tra uh, window. I would put, a, put money on it that every single window in this trailer opens. That's where a lot of other manufacturers are going to hold back to save money. Um, they want, again, want your trailer to breathe, let that heat out, bring the outside in, those sorts of things. Nice big windows, totally framed in. A lot of manufacturers can't put in the size of windows that Grand Design puts in because they just don't simply have the structure in the sidewall to support that big window. So, uh, again, the island here, lots of storage. You got three great big drawers there. They went to this new uh, style uh, sink cover. They used to have a plastic sink cover. We can still get the plastic sink cover if you prefer it as a cutting board. Uh, but this is nice if you're cleaning your veggies, that sort of thing. This just simply rolls up when it's not in the plastic bag, uh, which is real nice, but they give you the single basin sink. I like the single basin sink. For those of you who are, you know, going, ah, that's a lot of water I'm going to go through. They've designed it so that you can fit in a Rubbermaid container. So you can do your dunk state, uh, tank on one side and then your rinse on the other. Um, whatever you prefer, uh, what's nice about th this type of sink is you can actually hide your dishes in there a whole lot nicer to hold a full-size frying pan, uh, which is good. The split sinks, they just aren't big enough to be able to hold those bigger items and they, it all ends up piling up on your countertop. The other thing you'll note is that sink is under the countertop. It's an under counter mount sink, very important. A lot of manufacturers are still putting those sinks where they sit on top of the counter. So if you've got moisture or something or you've spilt something up on top, or you just wanna wipe it into your sink, you're not getting hung up on a, the side of a sink, which is nice. This is what I have in my house. It's under counter mount sink. Much, much easier to, to, to utilize in the trailer, okay? Uh, lots of storage, lots of counter space. Update for the 2020, we'll call it 2020.5, um, eight cubic foot refrigerator. So all your imagines now uh, in the full blown imagine are coming with that eight cube fridge. I really like this. Again, Grand Design loves their pocket doors. Uh, this slides real nice detail to hide in your pantry. And you got a motion sensor light in there as well, which is nice. Super, super slick look. Now talk about doors. When you look around in the industry, folks, I encourage you 
Look at the tops of the doors, access doors into the bathrooms, into the bunk rooms. You'll notice that Grand Design frames in, just like your house, around all of the opening, creating a much quieter space. Okay, a lot of products to save on money and weight. They will literally have a massive gap above your door to the roof, and then they'll shorten up the door to build to it in a cheaper door. Well, you know, having a fully framed in door helps keep those smells inside the areas where they're supposed to be, um, creating a quieter space, that sort of thing. It's a lot easier just to keep that as a wide open space and then hang the door on either side. Okay, Grand Design's going the extra step, which is nice. All right. Um, full entertainment center. You do have that 5,000 BTU heater in your fireplace as well, creating a great ambiance. You got the locker here at your front door to hang jackets, extra storage. Your convenience center is right here at your front door as well, which houses all of your slide switches, ceiling lights. It has your hot water heater switches as well, your tank monitor, uh, readout display, extra storage. Real smart design. Real smart. Very residential. So one of the things to note, this is a laminated floor, just like what the sidewalls are. Uh, they do uh, sheets of plywood that are double, it's a double stack plywood, the wood decking on top, and it seems staggered. So very, very strong. Like there is no flex beneath my feet on this floor. I encourage you when you're walking through the different trailers in the industry, you'll find if that floor is sponges, spongy beneath you, it's pretty thin. Okay, this is a laminated floor, very, very strong. The other thing Grand Design doesn't do is they don't cut a big massive groove down the middle of your floor and then punch holes in your floor for heat registers. Okay, they snake all the heat registers through the, uh, the cabinets, the countertop, or the, 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 the walls, uh, the islands, the kitchen islands, those sorts of things. The heat blows out across the floor, so you have a much stronger floor, but you have far superior heat distribution. On the back of a furnace, you actually have portholes several of them where you can run dedicated heat ducts to each register. When you run a groove down the middle of your floor and punch holes in it, a lot of times we've had trailers, my wife and I, where literally we're getting smoked out in the front of the trailer because that's closer to where the furnace is and my children are in the back freezing because on that run, if you have many heat ducts, typically it's the last several vents that aren't getting any heat out of them. Okay, and that's typically a bunk room or a front bedroom or what have you. And with Grand Design, they are, are ensuring that they're, you know, distributing that heat throughout the trailer a whole lot nicer. All right. Now, I love this bunk room, folks. You can sleep an army of kids back here. Okay, you've got a bed here with a window. Bed here with a window. Three very large drawers for storage. This upper bunk here folds up out of the way. So if you don't want that, you just simply lift. There's no latches that the kids have to worry about. It's a lot easier for the kids to be able to utilize, which is nice. Again, opening windows, okay? Fully framed in door. You've got a wardrobe here, or sorry, stackable uh, enclosed compartments. Three more drawers, another bunk for the little guy to crawl or girl to crawl in and out of at night. A lot easier to get to the bathroom. And then you've got the overhead bed as well, just a little wider bed. Look at the size of the window, monster window. No metal blinds on the bunks to be able for the kids to bend and break and those sorts of things. And then a great big monster rear window, very large. And the other thing is if you've got a little one uh, or a couple of them that are in playpen still, still not big enough to sleep in a regular bed, you've got enough floor space here. You can set up a playpen quite easily. That's what we did for the first few years of our kids uh, camping journey, so to speak. USB connection there on the wall, TV backer location if you so choose to uh, to put that uh, put a TV back here for the kids. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight large drawers. Drawers cost money to build. Um, one of the most expensive things in the cabinetry on when they're building trailers are drawers. And Grand Design doesn't shy away from being able to put drawers in the trailers for you. The other thing, full duct work throughout. So it doesn't matter what room you're in, uh, you do have that air conditioning coming out. Motion sensor lighting here I missed, right at your front door to be able to light up, illuminate the entryway of the trailer. Lots of floor space if the family's piling in all at one time, lots of space to fan out and uh, receive everybody coming in. We're gonna jump into the bathroom. Now you've got a ton of storage in this bathroom. You've got a storage compartment right up here above the toilet, porcelain foot flush toilet, which is nice, real nice vanity with your sink. 
and then storage here as well. So it's not just a, a mirror screwed to the wall or uh, a plastic vanity. Uh, Grand Design's doing this uh, shower. Very common, you see it in a lot of the fifth wheels. The radius is open, real large shower here, which is nice, skylight above, lots of headroom. Get the bath fan there. So fully enclosed. The nice thing is you do get the door that goes from your bedroom into the hallway. So if somebody's in your bathroom using it, um, you can still get throughout the rest of the trailer. The other thing, when your slide outs are retracted, your main door that goes into your kitchen area, uh, when the slide outs are in, blocks off the access to get to your bathroom. But because you've got this door that goes from your bedroom outside, you can access your bathroom if you're you know, heading out to Kananaskis country or wherever you're going on your trip and your son or daughter yourselves need to use the bathroom, it's quick in and out, which is good. Now, the beds and Grand Design products, folks, 60 wide by 80 long. That's a residential size queen bed. If you don't like the mattress, you can go to any mattress shop. That bed will fit the same dimensions, which is really nice. The other really good thing, mattress toppers, all designed for residential size beds. You go to Costco, pick up a mattress topper, save some money, utilize the mattress that's there, just create a little more comfort for yourself, it'll fit. Fitted sheets going around it. All the fitted sheets are designed for residential size beds. Why I'm spending some time on this is a lot of manufacturers do short beds, right? To save length, price. Um, the fitted sheets, when you put them around those shorter beds, that fitted sheet tends to bag up and hang down and it makes it super difficult to access the goods underneath your bed. My wife and I, we run laundry hampers underneath our beds. So that's where the dirty laundry goes. It'll hold a, uh, hold a uh, laundry hamper quite easily. You notice the double gas strut to hold that bed up. A lot of manufacturers don't put those on. So you're having to lift the full weight of that bed yourself, hold it up to be able to lift the laundry hamper in or out or do what you have uh, to access what you got under here. So they're putting the little things. Uh, the other thing that's new for the 2020.5, dual drawers. They've always had a drawer on the side of the bed, but now they've gone to dual drawers. So you've got four drawers in your master bedroom, hanging wardrobe on either side of your bed, storage above, and then you've got the, uh, the blue light for at night if you like a blue light, and then you've got the push it again, nice bright reading light on both sides. So USB connections here, 110 plugs, all of those things. Thing I want to note, notice TV backer locations on the outside wall. Okay, you're not just going to screw your mounting bracket into Luon and foam. Grand Design will have right here laminated a sheet of steel right in the wall for that steel screw and that TV bracket to mount to solid. You don't have to worry about that, that TV coming down on you in transport. So one more thing to touch on. All right, I've talked enough. Love to get you to come by our dealership here in Leduc to check out this 3250BH. If you're looking for a big family sleeper, you've got a ton of sleeping capability with this trailer, ton of storage capacities with your tanks, your, your hot water heater, your furnace. This is an amazing camper. If you're on a seasonal site, you don't have a truck to pull something this big, but you wanna get a seasonal site, this is ideal for a family. And uh, again, we'd love to get you to come by our dealership in Leduc. Check out the reviews, folks. Check out the reviews on the products being manufactured. Check out the reviews on your dealers. I encourage you to type into Google, Woody's RV World Leduc, and uh, you'll get some real testimonials from customers that have uh, chosen to do business with, with us here uh, as you're going and selecting your dealer. So um, again, my name's Clayton Phillips. Love to get you to come out to our dealership and uh, give us a shout. 780-986-1234 is our phone number here. Uh, you can also send us an email, info at woodiesrv.com. And uh, just make sure you put Attention Clayton on there or Attention Leduc. And uh, they'll, they'll divert that email right to us. So thank you for your time. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And uh, love to get you to come by and have a look. Take care. Happy camping.